بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Question was sent up in regards to acknowledging Allah's blessings with the tongue. What is the best means, or how does one avoid getting into bragging or showing off? As I answered before, it is a matter of connecting it to the the net of the netma of your Lord. For instance, if you say I was able to make Hajj by the grace of Allah, Allah blessed me and I made Hajj. And, and, uh, and I praise Allah Talked out upon the fact That I was able to make hajj There's a world of difference Between that and saying Man, yeah, man, I, you know Wait, hajj I try to go every year You know, hajj is my thing I, You know, I, I just do I got to do a hajj You know There's a difference That's clear there And so connecting In the na'mah to your Lord Makes the distinction And Another issue is This matter of bragging Has to be looked into as all bragging, in fact, uh, that which is necessarily forbidden, or does, it, or does it have conditions and circumstances wherein certain types of things are allowed? That can be looked into later. Like the Sahabi who had a certain walk that was just a, a sort of manly type warrior type, don't mess with me type walk, and an arrogant type walk. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah hates this walk except in jihad. And they were in a situation of jihad at that time. So, for every place and time there's a situation and a statement. So it has to be looked into in a general sense. And, you know, because a lot of times we use these English terms for things, boasting, bragging, and you know, we have to really know what uh, does that mean. I mean, does it mean the man is mission himself so that, so that he looks like he's shining? Then this is one thing. But if a, if a person is mentioning a particular thing that happened and that actually occurred and that's re, that is reality, he's not making it up, and he's praising Allah to upon that, uh, there's no bragging in that, inshallah. 